Hello and welcome to another video. Now today I'm out on the Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm out on the Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus, which is uh, Yamaha's sort of updated premium edition sports tourer. They've obviously got the uh, the standard Tracer 9 and the Tracer 9 GT, but we'll get into specs and stuff. So powering this beastie is their 890cc CP3 inline triple engine. It's Euro 5 compliant. It's double overhead cam, it's got 117 horsepower at 10,000 RPM. Ooh, and we have a nice viaduct. It's got 90 Newton meters of torque at 7,000 RPM. <laughs> it's got a lovely triple howl, which is rather, rather addictive actually. We've got Kyaba upside down forks up front. Now those are semi-active. We also have a Kyaba mono shock at the rear. And I believe that's also semi-active. Braking wise, up front we got a radial four piston caliper that bites down onto 298 mil gravel. Uh, 298 millimeter discs. We have sheep. We have a nice big windscreen which you can lower and raise with one hand. I believe it's 70 millimeters difference. Electronics, we've got this brand new seven inch TFT which looks absolutely gorgeous. It's got three different themes. The Speedo looks a little bit different. I couldn't really tell a massive difference between the three themes, if I'm honest, but uh, that's all right. <laughs> that tightened up a bit. Woo! They call this road the Rutland TT. <laughs> I can see why, actually. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty tasty. So yeah, electronics, um, we've got riding modes. We've got four main riding modes. I think they are rain, street, sport, and also a customizable user mode, essentially. In each of those riding modes, the uh, suspension has a specific map, so it's all integrated into the riding modes. But as I said, in custom mode, you can tweak it as you see fit. We've got uh, two rather large panniers. Those, are, those come with the bike and they can fit a full face helmet in each pannier. So pretty decent storage. We've got a seat height of 820 to 835 millimeters. So you can adjust the seat. It's currently, I think it's on the 835 millimeter seat height. And for me, it's pretty good. I had no issues really. You've got these hand guards. You've got 10 level heated grips as well. <laughs> so let's talk about ergos then. You know, I feel like I'm bolt upright. You've got these fairly wide handlebars. The seat is ever so um, plush. So it's got a new comfort seat this year for the rider and pillion. And I have to say, been on the bike for about an hour so far. And yeah, it's very, very comfortable. My knees are, you know, they're bent a little bit. Underneath the dash, you've got a USB-A socket so you can charge your phone. The dash itself, you can connect it up to the Yamaha My Ride app which uh, if you subscribe to Garmin, you can get a full screen navigation, which is pretty nifty, but that's not available in all countries and uh, you do have to subscribe to that service. It's got a quick shifter up and down. It's their third generation quick shifter and listen to this. <laughs> it is so silky smooth. It's unbelievably lovely. So uh, there are some vibes, but they are only when you really do give it the beans. And it's around about seven and a half thousand RPM. And I'll be honest, you're not really gonna sit at that RPM that often. So I don't think it's gonna be an issue. <laughs> oh, the noise from that airbox sounds absolutely fantastic. And even though it makes the torque, peak torque at 7,000 RPM, <laughs> tell you what, it really is a very potent engine. <laughs> Brakes aren't too bad. 
not the most amount of feel in the world, but they are sort of OEM brakes. You could probably improve the feel with some EBC pads or something. Suspension, I've got it in sport mode, so the suspension settings are all integrated into the riding mode. And actually, I did try the other modes briefly, but I just found sport mode is, is kind of the one I like. It's not overly harsh, it's, it's plush, but it's sporty, as you would imagine, with it being called sport mode. Um, yeah, low speed stuff is, is very smooth, really nice. So this bike, to me, is kind of the perfect mix of sporting intentions with uh, touring capability. I think it's absolutely fantastic. You've got an 18.7 litre fuel tank. Should be good for a few hundred miles, hopefully near 200, but not sure. It depends how you ride, of course. What am I getting at the moment? I'm getting 38.9 MPG, but we have been riding rather spirited <laughs> today. And, you know, you can just sit here at 60 miles an hour and in perfect comfort and enjoy the scenery, basically. Wind blast, I'm getting a little bit at the top of my helmet, but it's uh, not too bad. I think I could live with it. I'd get a little spoiler, actually, for the street. Yeah, it's got uh, six axis IMU, so you've got your lean sensitive bits and pieces. So traction control, slide control, wheelie control. If you want to know the full ins and outs of the specs, you can go over to the Yamaha website. I'll put a link in the description. The bike costs £14,910, and that comes with the luggage, as I've already said. The 890cc CP3 engine is just an absolute peach, really engaging, it's got a delta box frame as well, the wet weight is 223 kilograms I believe, that's with 90% fuel, but you can really just throw this bike into a bend, and it will cope with everything just, <laughs> got to have the seat there, everything just fine. It really is a, a lovely, lovely thing to ride. Absolutely brilliant. You've of course got the radar, radar cruise control on this bike as well, which is all linked into the uh, unified braking system. And it's got four different uh, settings for the uh, adaptive cruise control. So four distances, it detects the car in front and depending on which setting you've got, it will keep that distance to the vehicle in front. And then also when you indicate and pull out, it will speed up to your desired speed. So it's a very, very clever system. And it also talks to the suspension to make sure everything is all linked. So it's really, very clever. It's the most advanced sort of system they've had on the uh, Tracer 9 since its inception. So uh, it comes in a couple of colors, I think. The, uh, this black with the gold sort of trim. And then also, uh, the blue so braking performance i would say is probably the only negative thing and it's not like it's bad it's just lacking a little bit of feel that's all and it's uh, kind of the only sort of downside i can think of really everything else i absolutely love about this bike you can obviously still get the standard tracer 9 gt which i think is about thirteen thousand pounds but it doesn't come with the adaptive cruise control and look at this scenery, man. It's absolutely stunning. Who says the UK is rubbish? There are some really nice roads in this country. So overall conclusion then, engine, flipping, potent, pokey, torque rich, triple, that sounds absolutely amazing. As you can hear, that semi-active KYB suspension is brilliant, does a great job. Just keeping everything in check. Throttle response is also really smooth, really, really well fueled. Yeah, what a cracking machine. The quick shifter is also absolutely brilliant. I haven't had a chance to try the uh, adaptive cruise control, so I am going to try and get one of these bikes for a longer term test so I can try all aspects of the motorcycle. But uh, yeah, this has just been a first ride, so thank you for watching. If you do go out today, do ride safely, but remember to have fun, of course, otherwise what is the point? And until next time, you take care and peace. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, you cheeky rascals. <laughs>